It's a global world religion, so they got to create some form of a global crisis. If a scientist says the temperatures are up 0 0.01 degree, lead story around the country in every newspaper. But when somebody with decades of experience comes out and says global warming is a manufactured crisis, no one cares, and you can hear a pin drop. How do I know? Because that is exactly what happened last week when the founder of the Weather Channel wrote an article that began, and I quote, it is the greatest scam in history. I'm amazed, appalled, and highly offended by it. Global warming, it is a scam. You told the Associated Press uh, that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans and control the rest. Here are the top green religious people, according to Live Earth. We've got Reverend Joel Hunter. He's a senior pastor at North, Northland Church in Longwood, Florida. He actually was offered the head of the Christian coalition, but turned it down because he wanted to focus on issues like poverty and environmental protection. We've got Norman Hobble. He's a theology professor out of Australia. He edited something called the Earth Bible. Then, of course, there's Pope Benedict XVI. And yesterday, he issued a statement that said, the people of faith must listen to the voice of the earth or risk destroying its very existence. We also have the Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, head of the Anglican Church, and of course the Buddhist leader, Dalai Lama. Uh, I would say, to him, what, are you, what are you doing this for? What, what, what's the point of this thing? You have all the money in the world you ever want? You have all the power? I said, you know, you're hurting people. It's, it's not a good thing. And he would say, what do you care about the people for? Take care of yourself and you take care of your family. And then I said, so what's the ultimate, what are the ultimate goals here? So the ultimate, the, goal, the ultimate goal is to get everybody in this world chipped with the chip, with the RFID chip, and uh, have all money be on those chips and everything on those chips. And if anybody wants to protest what we do or violate what we want, we just turn off the chip. This is Jesus, who's the faithful high priest that purifies us from all of our sins. His eyes are like blazing fire. His face shines like the sun in his His garments are blinding, clinging, dazzling white because he is holy, he is holy, he is holy. His voice is like rushing water. It's the very commanding voice of God himself. And so when Jesus Christ speaks, it better command your attention. It is absolutely overwhelming, powerful, and awesome. When he speaks, you better bow down, listen up, why? 